And good afternoon, class. How are you doing? Hope that you're all safe and healthy. Well, thank you for our discussion earlier about our previous lessons. Yes, we have learned about taxes and trade competitions. I've seen that you have understand our topic last week. So now, are you ready to continue with our new topics? Today, we're going to be studying in Unit 10, page 84. And our topic will be about religions. Are you religious? What about your family? Are they religious? Yes or no? Well, today we're going to be studying about histories of religions. After you text them, please take, take out your book and turn to page 84. On page 84, they're going to be talking about many religions. But in this world right now, there are four major religions. Meaning, those are the four that have the most people. As we know, there are many religions in this world. People believe in many different things, like the sun, the moon, the trees, and even the rivers. That are just many people's belief. And their belief is their religion. But the four major religions in this world are Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism. For this week, we're going to be studying about the history of Buddhism. So we're going to learn more about Buddhism. And in the following weeks, we will learn about Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism. So can you please take out your book and turn to page 84. On page 84, there are some readings about the history of Buddhism. Who first discovered Buddhism? Which man, what did he do to first find the religion of Buddhism. As you read your text, you will come across this man was a prince from India, from a well-rich family in India, and he made his journey through India country to find enlightenment. And through his journey, he, he find his enlightenment, and with that he found wisdom which started Buddhism. But after your text, you will read and learn more about the history of Buddhism and what did he have to endure, what did he have to go through, to discover Buddhism. Okay, once you read this text, you will come across some words that might uh, be kind of hard to understand or be kind of hard to explain. And these words are, I have listed here on this board. And it, it is also, also listed in the top of your books. There are six words in the top of your book where they want you to define, meaning they want you to find the meanings before you start your reading. And these words I have written on the board. I have written the meaning of only one of these words for you on the board. The meaning is religion. But for number two, three, four, five, and six, they're also the same in your book. I have not written down the meaning yet. So I want you to read the text, find the meaning of these words, and write it down on the space above in your book. And after you've done that, please send it to me or our telegram post. And so I can see that you know what these words mean. Okay, the first word that I have written on the board is religion. You know this is our topic, religion. And religion is the belief in and worship of a higher being. I mean God is someone's belief. It is your belief of a person or a God. Okay, you got that? And if, if you want, you can also communicate me more on our Telegram post and we can talk more about religion and we have a deeper discussion about religions. And our second word is wisdom. The third word is enlightenment, then sect, then preachers, then meditations. Again, religion, wisdom, enlightenment, sect, preacher, and meditations. Again, this word is also in your book. Before you start reading your text, I want you to find out the meanings of this word and post it up. And after you have read this text, we're going to communicate more through our Telegram post, and hopefully I will link you into our Zoom post so we can talk more about the history of Buddhism. Remember, we are only talking about the histories of Buddhism, how it became a religion. Okay, class? We will not go into detail about the religion, but just the histories of Buddhism, how it started, what country it started from, and what person started the religion. Okay class, after this video is played, I will post you your task. 
But your task is also in your book. I've explained to you now, your task is on page 85 and 86. So after you read your text and after we have our discussions about religion, I want you to answer page 85 and 86. There are lists of questions that you can find in your readings. And if you have any difficulty understanding some of these questions, you can ask me and we will go through it together as a class. Okay, for this first task, because there is a lot of questions and a lot of reading, I will give you 40 minutes to do. Plus, please communicate with, with me or with the group on our Telegram post and on Zoom so we can ha have a further discussion on the history of Buddhism. Okay, class, this is the end of our first video. See you again on our second video. Hello class, welcome back to our second video for today's lesson. I want to thank you for submitting me your first task and I've seen you done it really well. And you have known some of the histories of Buddhism. Thank you for also for writing the meanings of these words. Yes, religion is a belief that a person has and wisdom is the knowledge that the person has from his religion. And enlightenment means when you find inner peace. We can discuss more about that. And sect means like a different sect or different sets of particular parts within each religion. And a preacher, a preacher is someone who comes up to the top and talks to all his followers, like a sermon. And the word meditation, meditation means to find for a quick example, to find somewhere quiet and you sit, close your eyes and find inner peace. Thank you for listening these words down in your book and thank you for our communications in Zoom and on our Telegram page where we talked about the history of Buddhism. Now on to our uh, lesson for this video. A lesson for this video, I have three words in here that will help you in doing your tasks. The first word I have here is Nirvana, Nirvana. The second word is coexist, coexist. And the third word I have here is discovery. Nirvana means finding an inner peace. For our religion that we study about Buddhism, Nirvana is one of the major aspects of Buddhism where they have to find. You have to find enlightenment and you have to find Nirvana within yourself so you can find inner peace. That's why you see most Buddhist pictures or most Buddhist posters all around the world, they, he sits under a tree, right? To find inner peace, to find enlightenment, and to, especially to find Nirvana. All that is a subject, a core of one meaning, enlightenment and Nirvana. And when you put a sit under the tree, what does he do? Yes, if you said he meditates, you are correct, because you sit in a tree, you meditate, you close your eyes, and probably open your heart and open your mind to find wisdom, which in turn be enlightenment, and at the end you find nirvana. And my second word I have here is coexist. Coexist means to live together, you're living together. It's just like, for example, you, your mom, your dad, your brothers, or your sisters all coexist inside a house. I mean, they all live together inside a house. And as for our religions, most of these religions and some of the sects in this religion, they all coexist together. So all these religions we're talking about, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism, all coexist within this world. So we all live together. And my last word here is discovery. Discovery means to find something. Like we study about the history of Buddha, we have known that a man by the name of Gautama from India discovered Buddhism. He was, to your text, he was a rich prince from the family in India. He went out to find inner peace and on his journey he found enlightenment, he found wisdom, and he found nirvana, which in turn started Buddhism. I mean, through our discussion, you have understand that and I've seen that you have known a lot about our history of Buddhism. So thank you for that. And for further discussions about the history of Buddhism, you can always ask me in my Telegram page or on our group page and we can discuss this more about it. 
Okay, now for your second task. Your second task I will post after the video is played. So when the video is finished, let me know and I will post you the task. I will show it to you in a minute. Okay, our first, I mean our second task is a story about the Buddhism and what is the Buddhism. I want you to read this text and article and also after you read it, answer the questions on the back of the page. Again, I will post this up on our Telegram page so you can have a better viewing of it and you also can read it. You will be given 40 minutes to complete this task because again, there's a lot of readings and I want you to understand the history of Buddhism to answer the questions. Okay class, we'll see each other again on our last video. Hello class, welcome back to our third and final video for today's lesson. Again, I want to thank you for sending me your first task and your second task. So did you find our studies about the history of Buddhism interesting? Yes, I believe so because some of you have told me most of your family are Buddhism in this country and there are many things you do and many things you celebrate in the religion of Buddhism because there are many festivals here that relate to Buddhism. And thank you for sharing your stories about Buddhism with me. Okay, now about our words here, I want you to write all these words down in your notebook, okay class? Uh, again, I will post this up on our Telegram post so you can see all of our words and our works that have written on the board. And also these words that have written on here. But these words here, it is also in your book and thank you for submitting to me your work on that. But for now, I want you to also write these words in your notebook so you have a better understanding of it later on when our final comes because these words will be into or onto your finals. Okay class, after this video is played, I will post your homework, okay? Again, your homework will be due by the start of next week. So it is important to send me your homework because this year is almost coming to an end and all your grades will be reflected in your overall grade. So if you do your homework and send me all your tasks, you will have a high score and most definitely you will move to the next grade, okay? Okay, for now, this is the end and I will, we will see each other again next week. So be safe, stay healthy and goodbye class.